Hey all, welcome to Valley of Flames, the sixth location of the Vira Kocha quest line. So in the previous quest we got three lightning spears for Vira Kocha. This time he has asked us to bring a crown of flames that will be surrounded by lava, rivers of lava, rain of lava and whatnot. I'm expecting it to be challenging. Let's see. Because what Vira Kocha said was if you could get those lightning spears then you should also be able to get the crown. From that I can just guessing that it will be harder to get it. Looks like we are about to pass on. Here is the lava and in there might be the crown. We have some mirrors so that does look like something fun. I can see a blue converter as well. So maybe we can have a yellow ray to start with. Another such converter, maybe there are multiple receivers. And there is the yellow light source. One more converter up there. I have saw three such converters already. Now to find receivers. I saw one down there. There must be some others as well. Otherwise it does not make sense to have the converters without the receivers. Okay, one is on the right side, crossing that lava. Mm -hmm, one is here, other I'm not sure. Okay, it must be at some point crossing the lava or maybe we'll unlock later. I don't even know what the receiver is going to do. Now the main question is how do we activate it? I can bring a ray from the top over that lava, convert it and then activate that blue receiver. That's what I think I can do. Let's see if I can really do. <coughs> We can go left, then down. The tree blocks the ray unfortunately. This is an alternative but it will need much more mirrors in this case. If we place it there. No, that will not. I mean, I'll just place it inside first. That fire also blocks the ray, so I can't even use a different path to use less mirrors. This one also will not work because the stone will also block. Like I guessed the stone does block, so this is not the way to go. Anything else we can do? I don't think so. I will need more mirrors in this case. And I probably don't have enough. 
Wow, this is actually really challenging, much more than I thought. And this is just the beginning. That stone there will not let us pass further either. I don't see a different way to reach that receiver. This sounded like the most appropriate one to me. So I'm going to try and take the mirrors up and see if I can do it with more mirrors. If that fire was not there, then we would have activated it already. But because the fire is there, I need two mirrors. right above it but then we still need one other to direct the laser on it this does not work mm, I don't see a different solution I cannot take that mirror because that is the final one it has to be there so I'm kind of stuck but there has to be some other way that uh, smaller stone that will wait the laser pass through but if it does then we might have a ray of hope a ray of light that can reach the receiver I'm trying to use a different receiver, that one here. Hopefully finding a different way. Hmm, we have successfully took it down. But that is still not enough. I don't see any possible way to direct that blue light over the receiver on the left, bottom left. Pretty much conclude there is no way, at least from that side. my first I mean I had said earlier 
that actually works the mini set of stones that i talked about the light did pass over them i mentioned it but then i just went on to find on some different way if i had tested this earlier then maybe we could have saved one or two minutes but yeah finally we did it now to the left we have something else other receivers we did not activate maybe we will come back later for those Give you another exit, but some other tiles first. So that was like good 10 minutes just to activate one receiver. It was that difficult to figure out. And perhaps if you are unable to figure out, that is one of the reasons why you are watching this video. I am expecting this to be one of the longest videos if there are more such puzzles and yes indeed there are as I as we could see there were two more blue receivers mm, now we are into something more organized not just mountains we have some real walls here in between them is lava lot of stones lot of gates and whatnot this yellow light let's work on it we have three mirrors and they should be i mean we did not even need three one was enough i thought if i we would need three because i did not think that uh, the yellow light will pass over that white thing but it did and we have a solution beside that head is the orange statue half one which faces up uh, it's difficult to take this out, so I will have to move the other stone out first. this then we have some more receivers to activate now we have to take the light up there for that three mirrors is sufficient we just need to pull that one all the way up although i don't know how i would navigate if i take it from there so i am just taking it from the right side that way we can navigate as well because if this mirror was here, then there is no way we, we can go to the right. So this mirror has to be pulled back. In fact, I could have done something similar even if the light was from here. But then it would be just troublesome to go back and forth. So the right side is better. Now let's continue find more receivers. There is a receiver, another one also right there. So one by one we probably need to activate both of them. Let's take the mirrors out. This side the ray will come straight. So we don't need a mirror in this side at all. Okay. 
Okay, this way we can go directly on the first receiver down there. I just had to move this one out because taking that other one out was not possible. And since I took this out, I'm just going to place it where it needs to be. Now this can face downwards and open one of the gates. This one probably is a solution. I ran out of speed potion, so I'll have to eat one. The solution is top right is blue. And these are related to the statue that uh, it is placed right next to. So the stone right next to it will be of that color is what it means. We still can't reach that statue because that ones are not activated. That door is still locked. This other receiver might activate it. We have a different, I mean another mirror there. So that's what I'm going to rescue. Oh, I forgot to talk about the location. It's 960 tiles long and costs around 2.68 million energy. So here we are, the quarter blue and earlier we had seen the half orange, I think we are going to reuse it, this one down here, half orange that faces down. And the quarter blue that faces top right. is getting more difficult I feel let's see what we have here now hmm. so let's take the laser here Because of that fixed change mirror, the laser cannot go straight either. We will have to turn it, which will need two mirrors. I don't think I have enough that way. are used right here and to bring those outside rays in we need to hear itself so yes I think we have a shortage of mirrors I need at least one more in fact not one I need at least two more or three more If there was no fixed change mirror here in the center, then it would have been easy, but 
currently I don't think it is you can use this corner that is the most straight line So I guess we have to use some of the mirrors from this side which I don't know if will be enough or not. That one mirror there that we cannot move at all. So it's maybe just for decoration purposes. Two more mirrors to put it into the lane, one other to point it up. So three more mirrors that is a lot. And I don't even think there are just as many mirrors as we need. We have two here and two is not enough. We can't use any other mirrors either. Something is surely wrong. Okay, I found it. The hidden tile there I did not notice at all. There is a different light source behind that hidden tile. Now all the problems are solved in fact. We have more, many more mirrors than we actually need. That activates one of the gates, one other gate. We just need to pull one of those mirrors back. And even this gate is active. So the solution is probably in this gate. And the stones and where we have to put them is in the other gate. So again two solutions we are already seen, arrange that faces down for this one, for that orange we have a quarter blue that faces top right and one that we just saw, I will have to move this one out before I can take the quarter orange. Uh, what just happened? Did this way unlock after doing that? Maybe it did. I did not see the animation so I'm just not sure but yes, this is probably it. I mean this is not it, we have much more to do. We are in this area itself, we still have to go outside and then activate the other blue receivers and on all that. Now this fixed range mirror we can turn downwards and in that goes so we can use this very much straight line two more mirrors will activate the upper receiver that is where we place the stones but for one of the solutions we need to open this gate which is also open now so let's check out that solution quickly and continue it's a half blue that faces downwards 
I have to place all those stones. We have three of them. I was expecting four. The half orange one is not there. The others. Top right quarter orange. The half blue is the one we just saw. Uh, there is a lack of room here, so I'm not sure how I'm going to place the third one. It's technically not possible to place it in this way. Uh, has to be something else. I think I will have to pull back one of those mirrors out, but then I will at least that one. Mm, that sounds right, but it technically is not because the quarter one is in the center and the half one is below. We were going the opposite way. This is fun, I'm so having just some fun in this little room trying to fit all the stones correctly. This one I'm moving out for now. Uh, I have enough room here. Now I can push it in, pull back and done. Of course rotate it. And I, I think we did it. Something is wrong. Yeah. Again we are messing up. The stones I placed were not correct. The quarter blue is in the top and the orange was down there. So I just misread it and in that little room it was more fun to arrange those stones. This is how the stones puzzle should be instead of moving them for long distances. So we have some kind of key here which I don't know where we have to use. But since we have the key I guess it's time to go back. That's the exit, we have been here for a long time. We still have the left side to check out and even the bottom side. I thought we were going back and doing, I mean, those blue receivers, yellow light. But that is not all, we have many more things it seems. seems to be the end part the thing in the center that looks like the crown we were looking for and we had got one of the keys maybe we are using one of the keys here the yellow one I got and that opens the gate so that blue light has doused the fire. We need two more such keys for our dousing the other fires. Maybe one we can find at the end of the blue receivers we had missed out on the right side in the initial part. And one other key is not here. Here is the feather part of Viracocha. So since we are here, I am doing the feather part first. Let's see what we need. A lot of high cost styles that is just expected. 
that is seen in every feather part area okay so we have levers that open some bridges the bridges probably will unlock path to some more levers and we can keep crossing and in the end we will reach the feather part that's what i think it is let's see another lever okay this built along the bridge and I can see another lever down here an even bigger bridge mm, I still have some things here that bridge is outside and I think there is an alternative way to access it yes we can reach the bridge from here as well but if you think this is more costly then you can simply go back outside and use the bridge to cross in uh, actually the bridge is not accessible from outside it seems this bridge was built for us to cross it and go over to this side of this lava river this side is not accessible from outside because of that river ran out of speed potion it seems but i'm generally not interested to use speed potions for the feather part areas because of the high cost types but i might as well just use one so with the speed potion now you did not so see because i did it in the background Okay, time to move on. We might soon reach the feather part. Some stones to move and make way. That was fun. Now time for another lever. Mm, I just continue to go further deep we'll reach the feather part eventually so there we have the feather part without speed potion is the best way to dig such a high cost style and now with speed potion let's go back outside and collect more keys
So back to the start we go. further back seven sixty seven and about two hundred more tiles left. All of them must be somewhere here. Now begins the harder part of figuring out how to activate the other receivers. One is on the right here. Mm, that can be activated from the bottom side maybe another one is here and there is a blue receiver I mean converter right below it so if we pass through that converter maybe the upper one will be activated since we have activated the receiver here we don't need the mirrors here, so I'm just taking them back where we might use them. It's not possible to take the mirror inside. I was thinking like I can take it inside and then go up to activate that receiver. But that does not look possible at all. So now how will I turn the yellow to blue in the first place? Of course we can turn it but then how we are going to use it on the receiver? We don't have ground. Uh, can we do it from the bottom? From this side maybe. If from here if we focus it up that will straight go and hit the receiver. So this just sound like a good plan. That plan needs some mirrors. Let's see if we have enough. One should be sufficient in fact, we just have to turn the light to the right. Okay, what was I thinking? It's not possible with one mirror. Surely not. We need three and we don't have three. Let me just check if we can pass through the stones, but we cannot. So this is the wrong solution it seems. What else can we do? One thing we can do is just ignore that and move on to the next receiver. This one is probably one of the easiest. That needs only two mirrors. There we go, it has built a bridge. So this side I don't know. But we do have exit here, so I'm just going to take it and see what we have there. Ok, 
Give some solutions. There are two statues of the same type. I mean, two solutions for the same type of statue. So since we have only a quarter one here, I'm going to place the quarter solution. The half solution, I don't know why that is. So, oh, that has opened up two other uh, islands, I would say. Let's see now. Along with the islands, it has opened up two more spaces below the statues where we just placed the stones. So I'm going to repeat what we did. I mean not repeat, there are some solutions there. Those solutions are what I'm going to place on the newly unlocked locations. And that turns out to be right. Uh, we have some more islands now. These also have a solution to the white, but I don't know what we have to do with the white yet. The orange half we can surely take to the newly unlocked marks. Similarly with the blue on the other side. Okay, opened up another uh, another set and this time it did not unlock any island it simply made a few stones appear right below here and now based on the solutions we had uh, half ones here earlier we were following the quarter solution this time the half one I will have to take it all the way to the top and pull it back to take it outside and this one faces right side opens the last gate and looks like we have some white statues there I mean white stones there that will probably be the final thing to do oh there are two marks so I can see only one stone here and another stone down here so let's see there are four solutions i don't exactly know which one goes where simply trying out the pattern below i think the right ones will follow the right pattern the left ones will follow the left pattern or something like that That does not help. Okay, so both on those islands there were two solutions. I just placed them according to that. And on the below ones, the newly appeared stones, we can place according to the solutions we had seen below. And that has opened the gate. Alright, so we have another key. One key is still missing, we still have to go back and probably figure out that last uh, how to activate it and all that. Uh, what happened to the laser? It is facing downwards now. When did this happen? I did not notice it. 
maybe one of when we activated that receiver it just changed its direction so since it changed its direction this has become very much easier for us the ray is already blue as we were following earlier and now we have two extra mirrors because that laser has turned downwards so yeah we need one mirror and the mirror is here so i think we can finally activate that last blue receiver Okay, two steps up. Why did I place it there? I don't know. But yes, it has activated it. Built a bridge for us, and now we can continue. Okay, so a lever here that changes the location of the lava. Interesting. And the stones in the center of those lakes, they have some solutions. These solutions might be important, and we will figure out later how to use them. Another lever, lever that will probably switch the positions of some other lake, maybe the one on the left. Yeah, as expected. We ran out of speed potion, so I had to eat one. So let's see where we can go next. The left lake, which we just unlocked. There are tiles at the center of it, which has solutions. Hmm. Okay, so we have some. Six marks to place six stones on, and not exactly sure which one will go where, but I think it uh, has a hint for us. We can use one pair of lake. Each lake has a white one and a colored one. So right next to the yes, I already figured that out. Let us try and find the other solutions now with some more levers. The solutions are in the center of the lakes. Uh, I'm putting the solutions which we already know the answer of. In fact, I will just go ahead and find the remaining ones. That is because I did not see any blue solution at all, and I was standing right next to a blue lake, so I just kind of gave up. And let me just find the other solutions first. Now, since the lake has come back here, we could not go there. This way, we probably can. We will have to find a different way to deactivate this lake. Does this lever help? might help mm, we might have an alternative now that this lake is not there yes like i guessed uh, i think we have all the solutions now so where there is the top right white there would be the orange one as we just saw from this lake To the right, we can see top left white, and corresponding to it is bottom right blue. Similarly, top half white is an orange, the quarter one, 
we have to move the other ones out first bottom right uh, bottom left that's right so bottom left white is orange half down orange half down so bottom white is blue quarter uh, it faces top right Now lack of space might make it difficult to move the stones around. No big deal for me, we can always move if stuck. Mm, left uh, half white is bottom half blue. I think I will move this one to the right side before taking that one here. Because otherwise then it will not be possible to move this stone to the other side. So let's take the blue one now. Bottom it faces. That activates one of those gates. Uh, to get back there I will have to move out one of the blue stones. We can place it back, not a big deal. Uh, where is this solution? Top right white. yeah so that gives us the last key so let's take that key and go back to the left side where we were doing i mean opening gates pulling levers and all that uh, to get there we have to switch several of the legs just to make way this leg maybe we have to switch somehow we can't reach that lever which switches this key lake. Mm. Kinda stuck it seems. Now because of the leak. No. The right side we cannot go because of the stone not the lake. Mm, is there a different way? This is interesting, even when everything is done, challenges keep coming. So no other way it seems, I'm just going to move out some stone and then use the levers here. Oh, in fact, I did not need to do anything. The stone were the only issue that was blocking. So we can now successfully go back.
So let's open those gates. Another level done. One last and then we can get the crown finally. And I hope all the tiles are done as well. Okay. Yes, all the tiles are done. So that's great. This was one of the most interesting location. To end which, let's go to the city of gods and talk to Virakocha. So that is it. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.